when it's cold and snowy and the ground is frozen, but you still want to plant something, then winter sowing is for you. I tried winter sowing last year for the first time and I liked the way it turned out. It was definitely a success. I planted seeds into the containers around the same time as now, the end of January, and then in the end of March, beginning of April, this is how they looked. All of the seeds had sprouted. Some people use milk jugs, water bottles, but I personally like these containers, uh, plastic totes, because they are large, they are also deep, so plants have room to grow and also what is good that they are sturdy and I can use them this year again. So as you can see I brought them inside because it's super cold outside, it's like 20 something degrees. So I'm going to sow the seeds indoors and then I'll take these containers outside and that's where they'll be uh, staying for the rest of the winter till spring. Before you fill up your containers with some soil, you will have to make some kind of holes in the bottom for water to get out. I just used my hand drill and I drilled the holes in all of the containers. Also, I did the same thing with the lids. So as you can see on the lid, there is a bunch of small holes. So the rain and the snow that will be melting uh, that water can go inside and water the plants, so you don't have to do it yourself. If you don't have a drill, you can use a knife or a hot nail to poke holes in the plastic, because plastic melts, just be careful not to burn your fingers. I fill up these containers with soil about one third uh, way up. These particular containers that I purchased last year are 80 quarts, so I used about 25 quarts of soil and I'm using a regular potting mix. You don't have to purchase any special seed starting mix. Pretend you're planting outside in containers or pots. These totes will serve as a miniature greenhouses and the seeds know when it's a time to sprout. All you have to do is just drop them into the soil. So today I'm planting some flowers in the first container goes Cosmos, Bachelor Button, White Marigolds, Blue Larkspur and Green Zinnia called Envy. I made some DIY tags or markers with these uh, wooden spoons, but in case uh, the writing washes out, I also wrote on uh, the side of the bin uh, was some permanent marker. Hopefully it will stay there and I'll know what's growing. Also, I try to plant in the same container similar uh, plants and by similar I mean how many days it takes for them to sprout and how deep I have to sow those seeds. So in this container all of them were quarter of inch deep, so I can just go and sprinkle some soil on top of all of those seeds um, and take care of the whole container in, in one go. In my next plastic bin, I am sowing all of the brassica family, all the cabbages. So this one is broccoli rape. Also, I'm sowing uh, Batavia broccoli and pixie cabbage, which is a small-headed cabbage. All of those I have grown last year. And I also got some kohlrabi, which I never grew before. And I got some Chinese broccoli, and I never had this one either. So these two are uh, the two new for me. Let's see how they grow. In the third one, I am sowing some salad greens, like long-standing spinach. Lunix lettuce, uh, rocky arugula, that's my favorite type of arugula, also some perpetual spinach, and one type of kale, I like the looks of this kale, it's called Nero. All of them are cold hardy, frost tolerant, and they will sprout probably sometime in March. 
and in the last fourth container I had planted early mimbuna, which is one of my favorite veggies, also winter choy. Another one that I like is mizuna. And I also love to winter sow peas. So this year I'm trying Lilian's peas. And the last one is Chinese narrow leaf lettuce, which I tried last year and it was quite interesting. So after I finished sowing uh, my seeds, I closed all of the containers and I took them outside. Uh, you have to put them on the sunny spot, not in the shade, not under the roof or some kind of cover because you want them to be able to receive uh, snow and rain and when the snow will be melting it will be watering the plants and the sun will be heating warming up the soil the soil will warm up faster than the one in the ground and that will provide kind of a greenhouse effect and these plants will sprout and grow much faster than if you would wait for the ground to melt and sow directly so all in all i love this winter sowing method and i recommend everyone who is itching to plant something to give it a try